Okay, so my kids are still asleep. It's like 9 o'clock in the morning, so I'm just going to let them sleep um, snug in their bed. And um, one thing I wanted to mention is one reason why she's sealing this record is because in the motion I added that I have turned the judge into the, the, ju the judicial board and that I made a complaint to the judicial board and that they are investigating. So this is something that I failed to put in my recusal. Um, so I don't know that I've actually ever told the judge um, myself in any motion that I turned her into the judicial board, but I did that. Um, I submitted the recusal motion to the judicial board and I did that before I actually filed the recusal. I was about to file it. Is I yes. <laughs> yes. And then I f forgot to add that in um, my recusal saying that I have done that. So they probably did not know that I did that unless Adam or Eric told her because I did send Adam and Eric an email telling them that I did that um, after I submitted the recusal because I realized I forgot that part. And then the other thing that is sealed in my record is this Don Smiley, um, which really quick, when my kids were taken, I was trying to I was at the courthouse and I was trying to find an attorney and I met with this one guy, Dawson, and he's only interested in my criminal at the time, told me to go to Kyle Baxter's office. He told me to go straight there to her office, okay? which I just happened to randomly meet this Dawson attorney that day. I tried to get him to represent me later because I, yeah, anyways, I saw him while I was in jail and he does have a good reputation, reputation in Westmoreland County. But he told me to go straight to Kyle Baxter's office. He says, don't call, just show up. So I look on my phone and there is, I go to Kyle's Baxter's office, and it's right near the courthouse. I walked right over, and or maybe I drove. I can't remember, but it's just like a street over. I went in, and I talked to this lady who I think is Kyle Baxter. However, it's not Kyle Baxter. It is Don Smitely, okay? And... Don, I thought was an attorney and she starts like asking me all these questions and then she sent me a friend request and I accepted it and this is like right before I found out there was criminal wiretapping charges out for me. Um, so she's like nosing around on my page and so I'm wondering if it was a setup for me um, because then later she was assigned as my counselor. So judge said I can no longer see Jonathan as my counselor if I wanted to keep seeing my kids more so that that was if you read the transcript you'll see she gave me an ultimatum of dumping my counselor and seeing my kids more so then we go to the string of counselors and the first one was Don Smitely and I'm like you've got to be freaking kidding me this is this lady who I showed up in her office thinking it was Kyle Baxter's office. Apparently, Kyle Baxter has moved. And Don did have Kyle call me. And the office that I went to was a complete and total disaster, whether it was Don's or Kyle's. I'm not sure. Um, but Don, obviously, if you look, she has tons of bad reviews. And then she referred me to another late, um, therapist when she decided she wasn't going to do it. Um, she was telling me I cannot bring my phone, purse, keys, nothing into her office because Adam told her told her that I have a history of like recording people, which the history is recording myself, not other people, but I will if I have to. But obviously, come on now. 
Um, I'm not going to go to a counselor where she's being a freaking bitch to me and stripping me of my rights. And if you Google her, she um, specializes in, like, lesbian and gay rights. So that's not our problem here. Um, that's not our, not our issue here. So I think that they sealed that record because, A, it was a conspiracy with Dawn, and B, judge uses her a lot for corrupt cases and wants to use her again.